Okay, Ruby, I've got your work up here. Now, I want to mention something I mentioned last week in your work. Okay, the image looks great. I think this placed in the background is a wonderful idea. It's you're really killing two birds with one stone and doing so very expeditiously. And that's using the background image and then using the image from 3-2 that you cut out and separated from the background. So that's very, very good. Issues are this. Again, I'm going, I'm going to repeat what I said last week, okay? Uh, let me show you something. If we go over to, uh, let's go to course information. Then I'm just going to go to assignment guidelines and rubrics. And this isn't any of that. Assignment guidelines and rubrics is, is, is at the bottom of every weekly um, learning module. So you can find that readily. And I want to go to this assignment, which is, what is this? Um, module three, module two, composition activity, um, image processing. That's... I think this is the one we want. Um, that's not the one we want. Okay. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Final project part one guidelines and rubrics. I'm going to open that up. And as you can see right in here in the alternative client scenario, there is this link. This is a style guide for Amethyst Bay. And as you can clearly see, that is the logo. Now, this is a PDF. You can just open it in Illustrator, copy the logo, and paste it in your ad. Here are some other versions of the logo. And then here are your colors and your required body copy, your, requ your required font choices. And that's it. And now, those are your choices for this assignment, okay? Meaning, these are out. These ads are no good. The image and the whole concept is fine, but logos got to go, colors got to go, uh, types got to go in both of them. Okay, um, you're going to have to replace those with with uh, um, accepted um, usage rules from the Amethyst based style guide. As far as page mechanics go itself, I think you're fine. I think you get the idea. It's a good idea to use an image as a background and then place your type. What I would suggest here is I would suggest this. Placing your logo up corner as top is fine. Then what I would do is I would give a little informational uh, paragraph. This is who we are, what we do, where we are, and why we're the best. And then you can come down here, maybe move that up, leave a little more sand in the bottom. So now you can come down here and down at the bottom you can give your, your contact information. And then Really, but but what you'll have is something that would look like this. Basically, in essence, I've been using this example a lot. You have your background image, headline, subhead, paragraph of information, logo, contact information, and call to action. It's a really, really super easy formula, and it works over and over again, and it works very well. Let me show you another example. This one has more images, but it's basically the same thing. The image, background image to draw the attention subhead to bring the viewer to, to, to draw the connection between the image and the text and then the, the paragraph of informational type and then your call to action. Um, again, again, here's the image. Okay, here's this one set up a little bit differently. Here's your headline and then here's your information. Then here's your logo and your call to action. Okay, so you can see several different iterations of the exact same page mechanics all based on the same idea that we use the image to draw the viewer in. Then we spark the viewer's interest by giving an interesting headline, a subhead, and then we connect that all to our body copy and round it out with a logo call to action and um, contact information. Okay, so I'd like to see you reformat your work. Um, I'm here and you know I'm pretty much online every day. So once, uh, another thing I wanted to mention is these two images. Take a look at how dark this one is. This image is, it's, it's not very good, um, what you've done with it. It's, it's actually so overdone that some of the sand is turning yellow. And then look at the dark behind the doors in the little cabana. Um, that's almost pure black, which means you've, you've, you've adjusted all the, the details right out of that area. Take a look at this one. And you can see those wonderful wood slats that we can see all the detail in there. So keep that in mind. This, this image is better treatment. All right, so that's all I have. If you have any questions at all or any comments, please feel free to give me a holler. Okay, thanks.